Hi everybody, for those of you that don't know me, I am Dina Shalom and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here and please subscribe so you stay in touch and see when I post new videos. So today's video is going to be a very basic quad stretch, but I'm gonna show it to you in a way that is supported so that you can really kind of relax into it a little bit more. Um, so it won't always be the way that you stretch your quads, but it's a really handy way, okay? So you'll need something in front of you for balance and something behind you to put your foot on. The height of what you put your foot on will vary depending on your needs. So somebody who's, for whatever reason, has really limited bend in the knee or incredibly tight quads will need something lower and somebody else might need something higher. So the beauty of doing this supported is that you can actually breathe and relax and find the parts of the quads where you tend to grip and hold without even realizing it. So it's not just a tug of war of trying to quote, pull on it as hard as you can to stretch it out. Okay. So even if you can easily do this, no problem. I can. Okay. So it's, I've got the flexibility, but this is a very different quality than when I do it with support. So I'm gonna start with a lower stool, so I'm balanced, I'll bring my foot up. Then once I'm here, I look down and I check myself. I'm gonna go, oh, my knee is way in front of the other leg, so that needs to be back more. So maybe I need to put my stool back a little bit farther so that when my foot goes up, my knee is still in line with the other knee. And then once I'm here, I can start to relax the leg. Think about relaxing the buttocks down so my, my spine is not just arched because I'm stretching my quads. And I release the front of the thigh down. You can think of activating your abdominals a little bit, sort of lifting your abdomen up. And again, release the quads down. So if you have limited bend in your knee or really tight quads, you're gonna like this one. So posture, kind of standing really tall, sort of automatically does that and it will open up the front of your hip. So you can just stand here, do mountain pose, right? If you're a yogi with one leg up, so a different variation. And then if that's really easy for you, you would make this higher. So I'll just put this bolster on my stool. And then I put my foot way up here. So this is about the same height as me holding onto my ankle. But because I can breathe, relax, and think of drawing my belly up at the same time that I release the thigh down, I get a completely different stretch throughout the quads. So it's a static, prolonged, supported stretch, stretch versus the quick one that you do before a workout or when you're on the move and on the go. So the longer I'm here, the more it goes to different layers of the muscle. I can feel that, I can feel that release. So it's whenever you do supported stretches, it allows you that ability to relax into your areas that you tend to grip. So it's a great idea. So come out and of course you would do the other side. If you are uh, very tight, you would use something lower, right? So it might even be, just a regular chair with your foot on a chair, but it gives you the way, it gives you a way to comfortably stretch that out with support so you don't feel strain in the knee, in the hip, or in the back. So give it a try, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And again, please subscribe to my channel, stay in touch, and I really appreciate, appreciate you being here, and I hope this is helpful. Have a good day.